Welcome to this video tutorial on Razor Component. In this video and in the upcoming videos, we will see how to create an effective and reusable Razor Components. The Razor Components can be nested, reused and shared across several projects. So with the Razor Component, we can write HTML and c -sharp code combined. Here as you can see, on the top we have the HTML code and on the bottom we have the at code block. Razor syntax uses the at symbol to switch between C sharp and HTML code. It gives the opportunity to declare variables and output them to the user within an HTML structure in all in the same file. In Blazor, we will concentrate on working with the Razor extension file. So as you can see, we have, for example, counter.razor, fetch data.razor, and index.razor. Component name must always start with an uppercase character. Else, upon compiling, you will get an error. So here, every time the button is clicked, it will trigger the function below. So it will trigger the increment count every time the button is clicked. And then, the current count variable will increment by 1. And this is one-way binding. On the other hand, Blazor also supports two-way binding, which we will see in the upcoming videos. The page directive of this counter component is slash counter. Let's run the application. When this application is compiled, the HTML and C code are connected into a component class. So on top you can see a slash counter. This means one way to get to the counter component is to navigate a slash counter in the URL. Now let's insert a counter component in the index page. So let's open the index page. Let's add a style, but the styling will be done in the add code block. At style, and in the at code block, we will add private string style equal to background color is black. Uh, then we will add the four color to white. Let's run it and see. So, here as you can see. It has taken effect. I have referenced the style variable in the paragraph. This component survey prompt it can be found in the share folder here. So let's remove this survey and we will add a counter component. Let's Run it and see. So as you can see, you have the counter component here in the index page. You can add more than one counter component. Now let's add more counter component. Components can be placed anywhere in the project, but it is a good practice to place components that produce web pages into the pages folder. And reusable components here. Let's run the application. So 
So here, as you can see, it has taken effect. The Reza component is a combination of HTML mockup and C-sharp code. Let's run it and see. We have arrived at the end of this video. In the next video, we will look into how we can separate the C-sharp and HTML code. Stay tuned and if this video has helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe.